Hi, I'm Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to show you how to test your website for viewing on smartphones and tablets by using QuirkTools.com's ScreenFly. It's very important to have a mobile responsive theme for your website. This means that you'll have a website theme like WordPress 2012, which is the featured theme for 2012, that reformats. It detects the mobile device that the visitor to your website is using and then it reformats according to the size of the screen. So go to quirktools.com Q-U-I-R-K-T-O-O-L-S dot com forward slash screenfly S-C-R-E-E-N-F-L-Y and type in the website that you want to test And go ahead and put a check mark where it says use proxy server to mimic devices. Click go. And the first choice is a desktop. You also have labels and icons for tablet, mobile, and television. In order to uh, test this more thoroughly, I'm going to drag my scroll bar on the right down. Put a check mark here where it says allow scrolling. Now let's go over and click on Tablet. And let's look at it on an Apple iPad, which is 1024 by 768. And we can drag on that scroll bar. As you can see, it looks just about the same way it did on the desktop or laptop simulation. Now under Tablets, the iPad is 1024 by 768, but here's a real small, more like a mini tablet, 800 by 480. This is the ViewSonic ViewPad. And the mini tablets are very popular. As you can see, you still get to see the labels on the horizontal navigation bar. And the header looks about the same. The social media icons that were in a share bar down the side have been moved over at the top of this column. And the website is just simply narrower and as you can see this uh, bit of text that goes with this button is quite narrow. Now under tablets let's go ahead and look at the largest one is the Motorola Xoom X -O -O -M, that's 1280 by 800. Okay I can see already that looks more like a uh, regular desktop size it's really big. Let's go over to mobile and to Apple iPhone. As you can see there's a big change here. Everything is in one long vertical column and the horizontal navigation bar across the top that had labels isn't there anymore and we have one button that says menu. When we click on that we go ahead and we get the labels. So let's scroll down as you can see, it put the featured image that's on the right-hand side of my website at the top. Here are the social media icons. And that left-hand column is just one long, narrow column. And the two um, elements that were at the bottom have been reformatted, one above the other. Now under mobile, that Apple iPhone is 320 by 480. Um, there are a number of brands and sizes. The smallest is the Motorola Razor, which is 176 by 220. So that's a really small screen, but this is what it looks like. The thing is that, there we go, we've even got social media icons, but of course everything is in such a narrow column it's pretty hard to use that. On mobile, one of the larger ones is the Asus um, here, well, here's the Asus Gallery 7, which is the same size as the Google Nexus. That's 480 by 800. That's a really large uh, smartphone. As you can see, of course, it's still in a single column, and you've got that menu button. You can actually read the header. And so once again, the elements have been reformatted into one long narrow column. And 
we'll go ahead and click on television. If we looked at it on a, a 1080p television, of course that'd be a great big wide screen similar to a large desktop monitor or a wide, perhaps a 17 inch wide laptop. Now it's very important to have a mobile responsive theme because it will detect the devices and reformat the elements of the website for the best viewing on the screen size of the mobile device. If you want to stay around, I'll show you where to get uh, mobile themes on WordPress. You go to the dashboard and then under Appearance right here and Themes. We're going to go to Install Themes and you can um, search for themes by keyword and if you put mobile responsive and click search you'll get a whole variety of mobile responsive themes I'm using theme 2012 the WordPress featured theme for 2012 but there's responsive suffusion weaver here's one for um, a photo gallery portfolio press mantra weaver bootstrap whole variety of them that you can uh, choose to use for your website. Uh, as most people are aware, the sales of smartphones and tablets have far outpaced the number of sales for laptops and desktops in 2012. So it's more important than ever to design your theme with mobile in mind, keep it clean and uncluttered, easy to read, easy to navigate, and use a mobile responsive theme. Thanks for joining me today. Happy computing and have a great day.